Okay, so hi again. Um, I have another question um, from one of my students and what we're going to do is we're going to um, try to analyze a given quantitative frequency distribution and then, you know, try to answer some questions regarding it. Anyhow, I would like to cite this paper where I got the, the table that I will be giving. Um, this is TOP, Greatest Hits, um, the most frequent cited, frequently cited teaching of psychology articles. This is um, a paper by Griggs and Col Collison. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, look for the table um, here, uh, since we're going to make use of this table, and uh, we're going to try to analyze um, the table here. So uh, you can see that there are intervals on the first column. This is the total number of citations. Anyhow, the, ta the title of the table is uh, the frequency of teaching of psychology articles with respect to the total number of citations. So um, the frequency is the collected data for total citations for, for the period of 1975 through 2011. So from the Web of Science via this link. So um, from 0 to 4, um, there are 2,111 articles which have this zero to four um, citations there are 553 papers or articles which have five to nine citations um, there are 183 who got 10 to 14 citations and then and you know where where we're going here um, there's a percentage here and there's a cumulative percent um, we're going to put much attention in the frequency in this video so you can see that if it the number of citations for those uh, you know, the number of papers who have 50 or more citations, um, there, there are two of them, okay, so which we can see here. What if the question will ask you, say, um, how many papers have less than 10 citations, all right, less than 10 citations? So you try to locate first where 10 is, 10 is over here, and you're going to see the number of citations less than 10, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add 553 here and, and 2,111. So if we're going to add that, it's going to be 2,664. That's the number. Okay, that's the number of um, citations, which is less than 10. If the question asks you about the percentage, what you're going to do is to sum them up and then divide them by the total number. You know, how do we get total number? You sum all the frequencies, you put that as a denominator, and then this will be 2,664 divided by that total number. And that's how we get the percentage, all right? Um, how about if you're if you will if you will be asked um, how many percentage of papers have citations from forty four, shall we say from twenty to forty four? Okay, from twenty to forty four. So twenty starts here. That's our lower limit. Twelve forty four is over here. What you're going to do is you're going to add all of these numbers here. So we have um, twenty twenty four. 31 plus 9, that's 40, plus 5, 45, plus 2 and plus 1, um, that's going to be 48 all in all. If you want the percentage, you divide that 48 by the total number of it. All right? Now, um, you know what will happen if, you're, if you will be asked greater than, okay? If it is um, greater than. Say you will be asked what percentage of papers or articles have no less than twin, uh, no less than uh, say 30 no less than 30 so the requirement is it should be 30 or at least 30 okay no less than 30 so we're going to start here from 30 to 34 we're going to add all the way up that's going to give us what 11 Okay, so that's how you say no less than or no less than 30. So it should be at least 30 if that's the case. You, you can also ask questions like no greater than um, 20. No, or shall we say no greater than 19. Okay, so if you say no greater than 19, so it should be at most 19. So you're going to add here 2111 plus 583 plus 183 plus 70. So that's going to give us no greater than um 19 and lastly uh, just by looking at this frequency distribution which is quantitative uh, say you'll be asked what is the class width or the class in, um, what's the other name for class width um, class size in some books so you're just going to look at the interval or the the 
the lower limit in one class and see the, the lower limit on the next preceding class. So you can see that the, the difference between the two is five. And it will be uniform all throughout the table, except for those of for this of course for the greater than or equal to but basically everything here is um skipping count by five so that's our class width everyone okay so that's how you read um quantitative data that's how you analyze it and you know to be able to get details from it even though it's it may be a simple table but you can have powerful meaningful analysis if you um see Okay, if you know how to analyze it um, correctly. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much. And I hope you learned something from this. See you.